Hello, this is Jason with Delft Technologies, and today we're going to discuss what to do to convert an eval install if you have cloud solution provider or CSP product keys. And the CSP product keys do not work themselves to convert an eval operating system install. It is best to use the ISO that is downloaded from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So in the same area where you access your CSP product keys, there'll be a link to download an ISO in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And if you do OS installs with that ISO, you don't have to do any conversion and your cloud solution provider product key will work to activate installs done with those ISOs. But if you've already installed the operating system with an eval ISO, you may notice that if you enter your CSP product key, you'll get the product key you entered didn't work. Check the product key again or try again or enter a different one. And you also get an error if you try to uh, run the dism command in PowerShell to convert. It, it will just give an error. You can't use the CSP product key to convert. So what we can do temporarily is use a KMS key, which there's a link here to it, or if you just searched on Google or Bing, it'll be the first result. And we have a whole list of product keys for all the different operating systems. So here I have server 2022 standard installed. So we'll be using this product key to convert from eval. And all we need to do is run uh, PowerShell as administrator, you can see here, and I've already got the command entered here. Just hit enter, and it will run, and it will remove the evaluation package. And it only takes a minute or so maybe even less. There we go. And now it's prompting for a reboot. So we'll need to reboot to finish removing the evaluation package. Now that the server is rebooted, we can right click on the start menu and go to system. And when we scroll down, you can see that it says Windows Server 2022 standard and the evaluation version has been removed. And next, we can refer to the article, and we'll want to remove the product key that we use, the KMS key. We'll go to Windows PowerShell Admin again, and type slmgr slash upk, and that uninstall the product key successfully. Now we'll want to run slmgr forward slash ipk in a space in between those and then enter your CSP product key. I'm just using the KMS key again, just as an example. And it's, it should say installed product key. And then we'll run slmgr forward slash ato, hit enter. And I'm not going to do that because I don't have a, a valid CSP key. But when you run that, it will activate it and it should say activated successfully. And then you are good to go. So I hope this helped you. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.